Anna from Brightling Gardens. Today I want to review with you how we blend our custom soil mix for our strawberry planters. This guy right behind me is one of our patio strawberry planters. I know it doesn't look like much right now. We just potted them off about a week ago. There are three strawberry plants in each of these planters. They will definitely fill out this pot and they will absolutely cascade over the side. They make an awesome addition to any deck, front porch, small garden, you name it. You can absolutely grow strawberries in containers. The secret to growing big, healthy strawberries in containers is making sure that you have nutrient-rich soil that is custom blended for your strawberry plants. So today I'm going to show you how we do that here in Northern Michigan and what materials I'm using for our mix. What I have in my wheelbarrow so far, um, this is actually stuff that we already had here on site. As you can see, we have a little bit of degraded mulch as well as some sand. The mulch isn't broken down quite as much as I would like it to be, so I am going to go ahead and remove some of these larger pieces like this. If you're planting your strawberries directly into the ground, you don't need to worry about these at all. You can put them right in the ground with it. The mulch just basically adds additional organic material that's going to break down over time into the soil and add nutrients back into it. The sand here, we have a lot of it up here in northern Michigan. It's incorporated with all of our soils here. Um, sand is really helpful for drainage. It does not add any nutrient value whatsoever. So you can never plant something in just sand. You have to always make sure that you're adding the organic material too. Over here, I have my Espoma Organic Peat Moss. We use this product on absolutely everything. We love the Espoma line of products. Um, if they are completely organic. We use peat moss in most of our mixes. Peat moss is basically a material that will lighten heavy soils. So if your soil at home has a lot of sand or a lot of clay, peat moss can do a lot to really lighten that soil and make it a lot easier for oxygen to get down to the roots of the plant. Today I am working with bare root plants, which basically just means that we receive the plant when it's in its dormancy. It looks like that, believe it or not, that will turn into a very big strawberry plant. As you can see, we do have quite a few roots hanging off the bottom there and just a little bit of growth on top here. As soon as they're potted up, they'll come out of dormancy and they'll start to grow the nice bright green leaves that you are familiar with. Because we are working with dormant plants today, I am not going to fertilize today. I just wanted to show you guys what fertilizer we use on our strawberry plants. The reason you don't want to fertilize a plant when it's in its dormancy is you can actually burn the roots um, from too much nutrients. So we want to wait until that plant is starting to sprout. You see a lot of full green leaves, then it's safe to go ahead and fertilize. When you are ready to fertilize your strawberry plants, we highly recommend using the Espoma Berry Tone Fertilizer. This is again an Espoma product, 100% organic. It's a granular fertilizer. I personally love working with granular fertilizers. I do not use liquid anymore. It's so easy to burn the roots of a plant with liquid. When you're working with a granular fertilizer, you sprinkle the, gran the granules right on top of the soil and then you thoroughly water it. A little bit of nutrient will be distributed every time the plant is watered, which means that breakdown is a lot more even and it doesn't burn the plant roots. We like this formula. Uh, we use it on our raspberries, strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, elderberries, anything that ends in berry, you can use this on. Okay, so we're starting with our sand and our broken down mulch. I'm going to go ahead and remove those larger pieces of mulch and I'm going to want to make sure that no rocks are left here. I have removed all of the larger debris from my current blend. Now I'm going to go ahead and add one bag of this garden soil. I love uh, to use this garden soil. There are already bits of mulch in it. I like to add a little bit more mulch. Mulch is wonderful as an organic uh, product to put in your soil. I do want to have a disclaimer on that. Do not use the dyed mulches. I don't have a clue what's in them. Nobody has a clue what's in them. Uh, this is 100% cedar. There's absolutely no dyes, no chemicals, nothing on it. So I know that when this breaks down into my soil that it's a healthy food for my plant to eat. So I'm going to dump this whole bit of soil in here. Getting very, very dark, very heavy soil. Looks awesome. And then to lighten that soil up, I'm going to add two things. First and foremost, I'm of course going to add my Soma Organic Heat Moss. And again, this is just a really light and fluffy material. It is slightly acidic, so this is really wonderful for blueberries too, if you like to grow blueberries. I'm going to actually finish off this bag here. So 
we have our sand, our mulch, our garden soil, and our peat moss all here in this wheelbarrow. There is one last secret ingredient I'm going to add to this only because we are planting these uh, strawberries into containers and not into the ground, and that is perlite. So this is our perlite here. You've seen perlite before. It comes in all of your garden mixes, all of your um, potting soils. It really just allows the soil to drain. So lightweight, dusty type of rock. You don't want to breathe it in. Go ahead and mix that all around. We have added all the materials that we need for our soil mix here. The last step I'm going to do is just go ahead and blend everything together, make sure it's really evenly distributed, and we'll go from there. I'm all about blending my soil. This is exactly how I wanted it to turn out. I'm now ready to plant my strawberries. If you guys are local, we sell most of these products in our store. If you want to buy any of the um, organic berry tone or peat moss or soil that I mentioned today, a lot of these products can also be found right out in your own backyard. Uh, if you do live further away and aren't local to us, I'll add some links down at the bottom of this video so you too can access uh, some of our top, top products that we love to add to our soil mixes. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I really appreciate your time. We'll talk to you next time.